Hello and welcome to the 62nd video in this series programming a chess engine in C. So the last video we had a quick look at, well, a look at adding in the most valuable victim, least valuable attacker. And we're going to now actually pick the moves according to the capture scores and see the difference to the ordering. But before we do that, horrible things. at the In the board.c, in the reset board, I've got here the initialization of the PV table. Why or why I don't know, because you don't need really to have it in every time, reinitialize every time you reset your board. So cut that out of there and let's put it below the declaration of the board here. And I can at least just do the initialization once. And the other thing I wanted to do was to actually, we need to free the memory that uh, this, is, this is pointing at. I'm just going to open up PV table here and see exactly where I do the clearing, so here. So we're going to take this free line here and where the program then exits here, I'm just going to free the board and I think it was called PV table, point to the table, free the memory it's pointing to to do some housekeeping there, so that wasn't very good programming when that first came in, sorry about that. So now there's a bit of housekeeping done, let's go back to where we are. In vice.c, I've entered a new position in here, which you can get by downloading the code. And it's a position from the Silver Suite by a computer chess expert called Albert Silver, who works, um, amongst other things, for chess space. And he produces a suite of starting positions, which are good for testing engines against each other. And this is one of those starting positions. And this position is now at the top of the board here. And I've got the search depth, I think, at 5 here. So I'm just going to make this now. And then run vice, and the other thing I've done actually is inside defs.h is I've commented out debug to make the search a huge amount faster, otherwise these are going to take forever. I'm just going to type s now and search this position to depth 5. And we have a bit of a wait here, and you can see that it's done 8.5 eight million nodes to get to depth 5, and it's ordering here is 10%, so very, very bad, and 8.5 million nodes. And it'd be good to bear that in mind for what we're going to do now, which is implement the picking via the capturing scores. Let's go into movegen.c, and I'm going to comment out this loop here. In fact, I'm going to take out completely this loop here that prints the scores, because we don't need that anymore. That was discussed in enough detail in the previous video. And now in search, we're going to implement our function here to actually pick our move. And I've got it already prepared here. It's very, very simple stuff. And I'll make it static. And all it does is, is depending on where we are in our move loop, which is indicated by move num, this is the index, we go from this to through the remaining moves in the move list. And where we find the best score in the remaining moves, we then swap the moves around. So that then becomes the, the, the best scoring move that's remaining in the list then becomes the move that we actually make. So you can see here we're just looping from where we are and we carry on looping until uh, if we actually finished off. Yes, OK, I've missed off a couple of brackets here. So these brackets in like this. So we loop through all of the moves and we say if the score is best than our best score found so far, then make the score the best score that score and record which index that was and then simply at the end we've defined a temporary move here switch the moves in so that it has the effect of when we put pick move in alpha beta here say we're at the fifth move in the list but there's a better scoring one at the tenth move then it'll switch the two here before then picking that fifth move so we'll call, make a call now to pick next move and we'll send in our move num and also our list like this. And that's all we need to do. So now I shall make vice again in the console. Whoops, quit and then make. And now let's run vice. And now let's actually type s to depth 5. And now the search has taken, you can see, 151,000 nodes and finished almost instantly. And the previous took 8.5 million nodes, had an ordering of 10%, and now we've had an ordering of 96%, and we found exactly the same best move, so nothing's gone funkier and toward there. We have exactly the same principal variation line found by the program, 
it's just the move ordering has made an enormous difference. And that shows the impact of just ordering by captures. Now one thing is to be said, the ordering percentages are extremely high here, but we're actually suffering massively still from the horizon effect in this position, and we haven't implemented the quiescence search. So this is a little bit misleading, but you can still see the enormous impact from simply searching the captures. So the next thing to do in the next video is to implement the scoring of the history and the killers, and then the move ordering is done. So thanks very much for watching. Comments, questions, criticisms, welcome as always on YouTube.